Hey everyone, welcome back to Winterfell Camp, me lad from the woods. Uh, I'm going to say this is a coffee and a vlog with, uh, with the lad. Today is October, it's Thursday, October 3rd I think it is. I never checked the date. Anyway, it's Thursday, October, okay, Tuesday was October 1st, Wednesday was October 2nd. So that's right, so today's Thursday, October 3rd. Anywho, uh, there's my coffee. Of course, I don't do a joint when I'm driving because, uh, well, it's obvious I'm driving. So it's a road vlog at the same time, which you've seen this road a million times. <laughs> Anyways, uh, oh yeah, but we'll be going the back way. That's true too. Uh, anyways, um, on my way to the doctors, uh, today is uh, foot doctor day. Um, I... Uh, because I'm a diabetic, they um, have me come in once a year. He does all these little things like he pokes pins, but not like, like you know, needle pins. Well, they are kind of like needle pins, but it's to tell the, you know, about sensitivity and, you know, things are going downhill because <clears throat> you can get neuropathy, which I've had, um, which I managed to, I think I reversed it because I don't have the, the, the same feelings that I did when I first got the neuropathy. And, uh, and of course I didn't know what that was when I first got it, but my doctor in the city at that time said, yeah, you, you know, with your high blood sugars, he says, as we reduce your blood sugars, your neuropathy should back off. But sometimes the ner nerve damage is, um, is, uh, oops. I just do. I don't know what that was. Sorry, guys. I just wanted to move you guys up. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. All right, anyways. Um, so they poke these little pins. I do have numbness on my left foot. Um, the, uh, the big toes got a bit of dumbness, and then the middle, and then the smaller. So three of my toes are uh, definitely numb. Uh, not numb that you can't feel them, but it's got a nummy feeling to it, which is neuropathy is what I expect. Now, I'm not a doctor, of course, so, you know, uh, just try. Uh, spill my coffee now if I'm not paying attention here proper. I'm just trying to get things situated here. It's like everything's all mixed up. Okay. Does that look better? I wouldn't be able to do this if I was on a main road. Thankfully I'm not. My head's out of the picture, eh? Okay. Anyway, there you go. Um... <clears throat> said coffee and vlog. I was talking about the doctor, my, my foot podiatrist or whatever they call that. Um, Tuesday, I don't think I recorded it all uh, as a vlog yet, but Tuesday um, I went to my mom's. I uh, uh, got uh, I got to order my glasses through her credit card because I don't have credit like that so when I just pay her back in payments I buy her groceries every week anyways so or every other week we go every two weeks so um, anything else she needs pretty much I got her a bottle of big crown royal whiskey for her birthday which she was you know very happy to get so she loves that whiskey she just grab it and she's like holding on to it like almost hugging it so it had been a while since she had some whiskey in there. She doesn't say, eh? She forgets now. Her memory's getting worse. She was pretty bad with her memory on Tuesday. Anyways, the new glasses are ordered. They're saying a couple of weeks, which just surprised me. I thought, geez, I mean, you know, usually it's just a turnover of a few days, but I guess it's different with all this fancy progressive stuff. So if I appear, well, once I get the new glasses and I do a video, I will let you know because uh, the progressives are going to be really hard on me. I had a real bad time with them last time. So, um, oh, there's our neighbor, Greg. He does, well, I've spoke about Greg before. He does um, 
my mom's uh, lawn and takes care of the you know the, all the stuff around there. He does an excellent job. He looks after the uh, the cemetery here as well, and he probably does more than a few lawns. So he's good at it. He enjoys it. I don't think he really does it for the money. Um, I mean, not that my mom doesn't pay him well, and I'm hoping the other people that treat him good. You know, whoever's in that place, that's not the original person that lived there. Something else is going on. Now, that used to be Paul's place. He was a big lad like me. That's not him. And I've been seeing this for weeks now. I, I, I don't want to stick my nose where it don't belong. So... Anyway, uh, yeah, doctor. So yeah, I'm going to go see him. He he he'll they he, like he'll grind all these you know callus off and all that and give me foot advice and whatnot. Tell me not to wear flip flops, which is what I'm wearing. You know, which I'm going to tell him that. Well, uh, my very first boating uh, fishing thing of the year occurred. But then when I had to go load the boat on, I had to wear my flip-flops and bare feet in the water. So, oh well. What are you going to do? Now, the temperature has flipped. We're definitely into October weather. I don't think we're going to be seeing it. Well, it says it's 20 Celsius out, which it probably is. But we're not supposed to be getting that warm. And at nights, it's getting below 50 degrees Fahrenheit, below 10 Celsius from now on, it looks like. So... Um, I talked to the boys. Uh, they are going to come hunting. Uh, I'm not sure what day yet. Uh, well, that was today. I told them I was going to be away at 3 o'clock. Anyways, uh, yeah. I never heard. Well, you know what? Randy didn't text me. Anyways, bow hunting has started. So, uh, Randy is coming down, and I think Mel was coming as well. But, anyways, I got a message from Randy. said, yeah, go ahead and start putting feed in the feeders. So, I said, well, I can do the two front ones, but I can't do the back ones yet because uh, True has the ATV. He picked up parts yesterday, and uh, so I probably have that back by the weekend. Um, something else really cool... Um, one of my neighbors, I'm not going to put names on this little thing. Well, it doesn't matter. It's all legal. Anyway, friends of mine in, in the logging business whom, you know, I was doing some stuff for before. And they were giving me all the, you know, water from their place when I didn't have running water. So I'd go and fill up barrels, that kind of thing. And, you know, drinking water jugs and all that. And I did that for like a couple, three years, I guess. Anyways, um, that's before I got the well. So anyway, Alan and John Lee, and uh, they're really good folks. And uh, Jamie and I, when we were doing the, like, that's how we met. And then Jamie decided to leave them, and then I went with them. So, because they, were, they weren't doing cut and split retail, which I wanted to do. Anyways, I've already told all those stories. So I'm, I'm you know, I left uh, the whole logging thing back last, uh, last um, January. So anyways, um... So I get a knock at the door yesterday morning. I was supposed to be up and on my way to the new office. And I had slept in, but I thought, okay, they're going to be there all day. It doesn't matter. So I started to get, you know, I got the knock at the door. I'm like, oh, look at there. Alan Lee's there. What's going on? Hey, Alan, blah, 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 blah. He's, hey, Paul, hey. Da, da. Well, we're working up, uh, you know, here, there. I won't say where they were working. It's a distance away, not we've been there and I've recorded going through there so anyways a couple hours north west of here anyway so they got they're down at what they at the where the guys put the equipment every night like skitters whatever you got harvesters um every day you come back down the logging road that you make or if you you know, and there's, you know, they call it a landing and that's where the logs come out and they get loaded on, well, they get, uh, you know, they get um, semi-processed uh, slasher is what we call it. And then uh, they get loaded on to the trucks uh, and then, the, you know, the logs are taken away. So they call that the landing. That's also where the equipment goes every night. Guys will park their equipment, you know, and their pickup trucks and all that will stay out, out there. So anyways, uh, day, I guess it was Monday morning.
yeah, no, it was Tuesday morning. They go up there and, uh, okay, you know, get the day started. The boys are all getting their skitters and all the big logging toys started. And uh, <clears throat> Alan walks through and he finds a package in it. And it's a sealed package, um, clear on one side, black on the other. So it looks like one of these weed, special weed packages to keep the humidity at a certain uh, percentage. Um, my friend, uh, my friend uh, Janice just taught me all about those. I didn't know they existed. So I'm, I, I'm actually gonna use those this year. I'm not gonna use jars anymore. So anyways, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, he hands me this package. He says, I thought you might like this. He says, we don't know where it came from. None of the guys uh, said it was theirs because none, the, none of their guys smoke or anything like that. And it's, uh, of course, he doesn't, and certainly uh, his son John doesn't, so nobody there. And uh, the only thing was there was a house nearby, not right next to the logging operation, but nearby, but there were a bunch of kids running around there. So Alan's like, okay, I'm not going to leave it there for obvious reasons, right, in case these kids come plopping over there to look at, you know, the Skinners after they go home or something, and then they find that. That just wouldn't go well. Anyways, um, so he brought it to me. Um, the name on it I'd never heard before. It was called Donkey Butter. Donkey Butter. So anyways, I'm like right on. And they're beautiful little nugs, all trimmed up nice and colorful. And I, I open the package and I'm like, oh, this is nice. So anyways, um, I'm still playing around with my little pen vapes and everything that Luke gave me, which I'm really hooked on. I really like those pen vapes. Anyways, um... So I haven't rolled one yet. So anyway, he gives that to me and then off he goes. And thank you very much, Alan. Uh, you know, I'm sure we'll appreciate that. So True shows up yesterday to pick up the parts for the ATV. And I said, hey, you gotta check this stuff out that Alan Lee brought over that he found, you know, on the landing at the logging operation. Uh, anyways, uh, so I give True half of it. And I said, yeah, you know, enjoy. I said, my bonus is your bonus. You're working on the bike, you know, and blah, 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 blah. So anyways, um, so off he goes, headed home. He just done all, all day. Yesterday is when Alan showed up, okay? But it was raining that day, and that's why he showed up. They didn't go up to the logging operation. They stayed down here to do repairs and stuff in their big garage. So, um, oh, fuck, I better talk faster because I think we're almost, oh, no, not quite yet. Um, 10 minutes to spare to get to the doctors. I got 11 minutes, but we're going to make it. So anyway, he dropped it off yesterday. So because it was raining and, and uh, True had left his job early because it was raining, right? So anyway, so off he goes. He goes home with that. I give him half the, bat, half the little package. And it had an ounce in it, a whole ounce. And there was a number 140 on it. I'm like, oh, okay, somebody's selling, but this is definitely not from, you know, a store. Anyway, it probably could be reserved stuff, who knows. Anyway, he takes it home. I said, let me know how you, uh, you know, like what you think of it. Um, I'm still popping around with this stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna roll one right away. So, all right, he, uh, he, he adds that. I decide to go type, talk, type in on the, <clears throat> on the uh, Google, donkey butter it comes up there's a couple sites that okay it's this it's that it's half og something and half something else i can't remember what the something else is oh okay it's a hybrid i guess it said hybrid or indica anyways for sure um you know 26 percent thc so okay it's a good weed and uh so there you go so anyway i get a text about 10 30 last night and it's true, and he says, well, I know why it's called donkey butter. Uh, he says, I did a bowl of that in his bong, and he says, that just flattened me. Now, he's a regular smoker like me, and it takes quite a bit to flatten him, and I give him, you know, weed and stuff all the time, and give him treats, whatever, like what I get. And, uh, you know, I, I never get messages back, like, saying, oh, well, he'll just say, oh, yeah, it's good stuff. You know, very, you know, straightforward, which is kind of how he is, right? Well, <laughs> not this. He's like, talk about couch lock. No wonder they call it donkey butter. Um, it's just a dump there. I slow down. I didn't know if there 
it was open. Somebody come out. Look at the color of those trees changing. Um, so he says, yeah. And he says, it numbs you as well. And I said, well, that's what it describes in the, you know, I text him back. I said, well, that's what describes on these websites that it's a good body numbing feeling. So people smoke it, you know, I said, well, it must be high in CBD or something then. Anyway, I didn't go look that up. But it's so rare for him to do that. I was like, ooh, I'm dealing with some pretty crazy shit here. Okay. So anyways, I'll probably roll one for tonight. But, uh, because I haven't rolled a joint and smoked one since uh, I, the last joint I rolled, which I didn't even smoke the whole thing, and I brought it back here and ended up smoking uh, well over half of it, is I rolled one of those king-size joints in the tent during the rain at uh, Sable Beach. Christ, there's a lot of people here. Um, um, so I haven't rolled one because of all these nice things that uh, Luke gave me. So, but we're going to try it because anything that knocks true on his ass, like he said, really gives me a story about how good it is. Okay, I've got a few minutes to spare here because I haven't finished my coffee and I'm still talking to you guys. A little over 15 minutes already. Well, I'll finish you guys up and I'll finish this coffee up quickly. So anyways, that's the story. Uh, that was my day yesterday. Uh, probably will be going fishing this weekend. Not sure where yet. Trout fishing is on my mind. Um, I got to pull out my chest uh, chest waders because I'm going to need to wear those. The water's going to be too cold if I have to load the boat uh, in a different way. And uh, um, I have to go to the office tomorrow for my first time. I got to get the keys and everything. So things are on the go. So there's your um, your update. I don't really have anything else. So there you go, folks. Oh, I made a gumbo. I, I'll film that when I get back. Um, and I'll explain why I've been having trouble. On my way back, I'll continue this vlog. And I'll explain to you uh, uh, this gumbo that I made and how hard it was for me to make it. And why I haven't made it like in ages. It's the same thing with the boat, so. Okay, everyone, so uh, part two coming. Oh, sorry, I gotta look this way, part two coming.